everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're doing lesson three of our five part series for how to start if you're a beginner in golf. And today we are gonna do chipping. And this is a small stroke, but it's very important. It, it accounts for a lot of your scoring when you do play golf. But most importantly, it's, it's an easy way to get introduced into how to hit the ball properly in the game. Um, starting out with a big swing is, that's very challenging. So we're gonna start out the right way and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, and I got a pitching wedge, we're gonna do chipping. And like we talked about in the setup last time, the grip, the aim, the posture, I've got the rods down here for alignment. And we're gonna go through this and I'm gonna show you exactly where the ball placement is and where the weight position is and also how I use a clock system for how far back you should go back and through. And let's go ahead and talk about that. All right, so I got this set up here and I'm gonna put it in between here and this is for my club face on the right and this is, I got this for my ball position here. So my feet with chipping is gonna be a little bit closer than what we talked about last time. It's gonna be basically about one club head width apart, okay? So it's not as far as like my shoulder, shoulder width apart. All right, then my weight is gonna be leaning on my front foot about 80, 75, 80%. My ball position is gonna be back in the stance here. We're gonna take the grip. And then what I like to tell beginners for chipping is see how this forms a Y, an uppercase Y. Let's do a lowercase Y. That's very important. That will help keep our hands ahead of impact, which is the proper way to hit the golf ball. Okay? So now let's talk about the, the clock system. Starting at the ball, we're gonna say at six o'clock, and then seven o'clock would be about to the end of the rods here then eight, and then nine will be parallel to the ground. Come back down to six, five, four, three. Today we're gonna do seven to five with a very good rhythm, like one, two. Okay, and my head stays down. Okay, so there's no movement of the hands. One of the common things most people wanna do is do this. That is not what we're gonna do. Uh, that's not what gets in the air. You can get lucky with the stars aligned correctly and hit it in the air, but usually when you flip it, you're either gonna hit it thin or you're gonna hit behind the ball. Okay, so hit, keeping the hands ahead is what we wanna do. Let's do that again. I'm gonna grip it. I can choke down on this. I'm gonna lean forward a little bit. Got the posture. Ball position's gonna be back in my stance. And then I'm gonna go back seven to five with a good rhythm. Okay, you can see my head stays down. Nothing's moving, I'm trying to stay relatively quiet. Again, my weight's about 75, 80% on my left foot. Okay, so people, even with that setup, they still wanna help it and flip it. So what I've got here is my bag. I love the bag. It's excellent for getting the point across of like, you know, let's hit a solid object. If you ever use the ax to chop a tree, like when I did, I grew up, uh, you know, in South Georgia, we, we used to have to chop trees and, and uh, chop it into small pieces and have it for the fireplace. So it made sense to me when I first heard it. But, you know, when you hit a tree, you're not flipping it. And the same thing is with this yellow bag. When you hit it something solid like this bag, you're not flipping it. So it's a great way to get the feel of, boom, that's the contact. Boom, you know, and you're not lifting it. That's just, there's no result with this bag. So... They don't have people just hit the ball into the bag. You know, there's no result here. Just hit the ball and hit the bag. Okay, same thing. Just to feel that. Okay? And that's an easy way to get the feel of it and also trick your brain into this is how contact should be. All right, so let's do it again. Now I'm going to think hit the bag. Okay, excellent. So that's the way you need to start out. In lesson four, we're going to do some... Uh, pitching and do a bigger swing but like I tell people when they start doing a bigger swing and they mess up we're gonna go back to the chipping to get the contact and then you can work your way back up all right for more great vlogs and blogs please visit my website barnhillgolf.com